Thomas the Tank and Jen and Friends, Wind Railway Adventures, Episode 10, Wilbur and Tiger Mom. On the island of Soder, there is a new engine called Wilbur. He's found his very best friend, called Scarloey. They really like each other, as they have a lot in common. One day, Wilbur and Scarloey were sitting on the track. They had just finished, finishing, they had just finished pulling a large goods train, and they were very tired. Wilbert was singing to himself when suddenly he heard a buzzing overhead. Bzzz. What's that? asked Wilbert. Oh, said Scarloe. That's Tiger Moth. He's very annoying. Bzzz. Is he a biplane? asked Wilbert. Yes, but he's, but he's the most annoying of his type. Ugh, I hate to be around him. Oh, I see. So he's really troublesome? Yeah, he flies way too low on the island of Soda here. And one day he's going to crash into something. I just know it. Wilbur was very curious about the new biplane. Hmm, he said. I'm going to go to the docks and see if anybody knows about this strange biplane. And he puffed away. I hope there's someone at the docks that can help me, he said. Just then, he came into the docks, and there were Oliver, Duck, and Toad. Hey, you, do you guys know anything about the biplane called Tiger Moth? Huh, said Duck. Everyone, everybody on the island of Soda knows about Tiger Moth. He's the most troublesome engine, troublesome biplane the island has ever seen. I see he's pretty bad. Yep, said Oliver. You're gonna, once, if you talk to him, you're gonna come out, you're gonna come out of a conversation with some vocabulary you never even knew existed. Ooh, this does sound bad, said Wilbur. Well, anyway, I'm going to just go talk to him, see what he's like. Goodbye, he said, and he puffed away. He went through Henry's tunnel, and on the other side of Henry's tunnel, there was Tiger Moth, sitting in a field. Wilbur puffed through the tunnel, and there was Tiger Moth. I see your tiger moth, said Wilbur. Yeah, yes, yeah, said Tiger Moth, and you must be Wilbur, said Tiger Moth, the new engine everybody's talking about. So you've heard of me too, said Wilbur. Oh yeah, you're the purple goblin on wheels. Everybody knows about everybody knows about you. Wilbur was cross. That's no way to talk to an engine, huh? He said. All the engines talk about me that way, and so I'd like to do it back to them. Well, that's not right, said Wilbur. Don't you think you should be the nice one in the conversation? No, said Tiger Moth. I don't want to be. Plus, that's engine stuff, and I'm a biplane. I'm a very special kind of biplane. My model is a Tiger Moth, and that's why I'm called Tiger Moth. Or, as I would like to say, troublesome Tiger Moth. Well, anyway, thank you for talking to me, and now go away. I'm, I'm singing quietly to myself. Well, goodbye, said Wilbur. And he puffed away. He came back into the yard, and there was Scarlowy. I had your talk with Tiger Moth to go, said Scarloe. I guess it went all right, said Wilbur. I mean, well, I did come in there with a vocabulary I didn't know. But I guess it was all right. Well, that's good to hear, said Scarloe. He can be very troublesome at times. I know, said Wilbur. I think I saw the worst of him. You probably did. He's not. He hasn't been having very good days lately. Just then, Wilbur heard a buzzing overhead and shouting. I wonder what that is. Asked Scarloey. Just then he realized it. It's Tiger Moth. And then he heard shouting again. Wonder what he is doing up in the sky. Said Wilbur. There's a storm coming and it's very windy. Just then he saw a man running across, running over. Have you guys seen Tiger Moth? He said. Oh yes, said Wilbur. He just flew by. Oh good, he said. What's the matter? Asked Scarloey. Well, I was going to take him out for a... I was going to take him out to fly, but then I realized I forgot my ham and cheese sandwich. So I ran back inside the soda airfield to go f to go find it. When I came out, he was run he had run away. Flew away. That's not good, he said. And plus, there's a storm coming. We have to think of something. Okay, said Wilbur, and let's start thinking now. Meanwhile, Tiger Moth was enjoying his time in the air. Wee, he said. I've never felt so above, above the island before. Wow, it's so nice up here. All the engines hard at work. Huh, good thing I don't have to work. It'd be very boring just to sit down there all day and do nothing. But just then, he saw a flash 
What the heck was that? He asked, but immediately thunder followed. Oh, man, he said, it's a storm. Oh, geez, I'm in big trouble now. I don't know how to land myself. But just then, he began to descend. Whoa, he said, what's happening to me? Then he realized something. Oh, no, he said, I'm out of fuel. And he was. He began to descend quickly. I must go land at the Sodor airfield. That's my safest place. And began to dive down. Meanwhile, James and Butch were sitting in the yard. Did you see Tiger Moth? said James. Oh, yeah, said Butch. He looks very silly. Just then, Edward puffed in with Rocky the Crane. Hey, guys, said Edward. What you guys talking about? Oh, nothing much, said James. Well, watch out. Look, it's Tiger Moth. And Tiger Moth came roaring in. Mm. What? What is it? Because Edward couldn't see, what ti couldn't see Tiger Moth. Oh, just go back very quickly. And Edward did, but it was too late. Tiger Moth came down and he smacked into Rocky's crane. Oh no, he said. He flipped upside down and hit the and missed the landing spot. And he flipped upside down and he crashed. He rolled side over side many times. Finally, he landed on his side. Just then, the fat controller arrived. I am very disappointed in you, Tiger, Tiger Moth, he said. Your honor is, too. He worked very hard on you to construct you and make you one of the most useful biplanes on the railway. I'm sorry, sir, said Tiger Moth. <coughs> I'm going to have to send you to the works, said Sir Topham Hat. Yes, sir, he said. I do believe that your owner should pay for it, but since he spent all your mo he spent every dime and nickel in you, he doesn't have any money to repair you. And so, I must spend the money to um, have you repaired. Yes, sir, said Tiger Moth. I feel really ba ba bad about this, sir. Well, puppy dog words aren't going to stop me now. I have even more bad news for you. Since, I have, since I'm having to repay for your repair... <coughs> No more flying for you. What do you mean, sir? That means I'm grounding you. Your owner may take you out once in a while, but other than that, you are to stay on the ground and never to move again. Oh, yes, sir, he said. Now, I have Harvey and the breakdown train coming, and they'll take you away to the works. And Tiger Moth was taken away to the works. In a few days, he returned to Silver. At the Silver Airfield. And it is true. So Tom and Hat doesn't let Tiger Moth go out in the sky ever again. Once in a while, however, his owner will take him out into the sky, but it's usually for a short period of time. But don't worry, his owner has gotten a new job as a sig as a station master on Sawyer, and he likes it a lot. But Tiger Moth, Tiger Moth wishes he hadn't been so silly so he could go out and fly again.